Welcome, folks, to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Dave Foy. If you are spinning your wheels using WordPress, Dave is your guy. If you don't want to see, touch, smell, or even deal with web code, Dave is your guy. If you are a dude yourself or and want to create responsive websites, Dave is your guy. Dave Foy essentially helps graphic designers create responsive websites. But he's not limiting himself to just graphic designers today. He's talking to web, uh, he's talking to photographers like you and I. Welcome to the show, Dave. Hi there. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. A very long introduction, but let me tell you, I'm so excited to have you here because I've learned so much uh, from your free mini course on your website. Just from the free mini course, I've learned so much about creating websites using Elementor. And we're going to talk about Elementor in a second, but you have a, a real gift in teaching and presenting, and I loved it. And I said, let's get Dave Foy on the show. Let's have him talk about what he is all about and why photographers, especially photographers who are struggling to create websites, need to, to listen to you. So tell us a little bit about your background. I know you've, you've said you've, you've been sort of helping graphic designers for 14 years. You've taught graphic designers to create websites as well, which is amazing. Um, what motivates you to do all of this, Dave? Yeah, it's a good question. It goes back actually to, um, I, I was actually a, a teacher. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a trained teacher. So I used to teach primary school children with primary school in the UK is kind of age, you know, six to 10, 11, something like that. And uh, I was always, always drawn to teaching. So teaching was my thing. And, you know, I did that for 10 years. I left teaching because I had the real interest in technology as well and a lot of kind of bureaucracy and government changes and you know awful things that we'll we'll skip over for now but i i i kind of left full-time teaching and teaching in a classroom to become a web designer but what i found is that no matter where i was in my career i was always working with designers who desperately wanted to make websites you know desperately wanted to express their creativity and you know, be able to provide extra services to the clients and things like that. And they struggled. Now, back in the back in the day, you know, back in the early 2000s, even, you know, three years ago, a lot of those guys still couldn't actually, the, the, the tools weren't there for them to be able to make their own websites. You know, there's, they, they, they would still need somebody, somebody like me to hand the designs over to, to actually build it themselves. But I found myself really deeply involved and actually enjoying more than my job, <laughs> actually helping these people get their head around all this web stuff. You know, how, how do you translate a vision in your head into the web? What's the best kind of, you know, the best uh, things for usability and for working with clients and for getting a message across and for making websites kind of as successful as, as, as they could be. And it was, Literally, well, I, I I kind of started what I'm doing now, which is the teaching the graphic designers on online, um, kind of a, a, only early 2017, because it was really at that point that I thought, now is the time that everything is perfect. The tools are there, the technologies come along, and I was starting to work with with you know designers and non, I mean not not just designers but non coders as well, you know, yeah. on on web projects and they were starting to say oh wow you know there were, i can use wordpress i can use these drag and drop fancy tools you know it's easy look you know and they'd point to the fancy videos on youtube and things and the demos and and they would make an absolute pig's ear <laughs> of the of the whole thing <laughs> they're thinking mm, it's clearly not that easy so and I had a real itch to get back to teaching as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, I just, I just decided that is perfect. So I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach online. I get back to my, my first love, but, but connect, but connect that with, you know, 14, 15 years of, 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 you know, in the trenches, website building and teaching, uh, as I've gone along as well. So that's pretty much why I'm here doing what I do now. 
Fantastic. Now, as I indicated, it's I mean, the, the the information you you have on your website, uh, the the course you're teaching, really isn't limited to graphic designers. I mean, I. I felt personally as a photographer that you know if I'm working on my own website uh, and I'm, I'm struggling, I got to be able to, I can I find a resource. And I think it was Kim Doyle who introduced me yeah. to you, and right. uh, and I've been following oh, her Kim's for great. age. It, Kim is awesome, right? Kim, and, brilliant, yeah. And I, 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 and she was she just posted this I think uh, right around in November sometime, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken. So, hey, this is, this is you know Dave Foy's uh, got a course, and I was like, wow, you know, because I, I was just starting to look at Elementor, and I think we should s- sort of talk about what Elementor is and how mm-hmm. it could be useful for photographers um, because of it's such a easy uh, you know way of using it, and also uh, it, it's very visual, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, and that makes it easier, I think, for photographers to use as well because uh, if there's anything that photographers really perhaps don't care for is to really dive deep into code. So mm-hmm. I got excited about that. And when Kim said, hey, check out Dave, I was like, oh, I'm signing up, you know, because this is exactly what I want. So talk to us about Elementor. Like, how did Elementor come about? And and, and it seems like the timing was perfect, as you said. The technology is here. Uh, mm-hmm. You have, uh, you know, other than Elementor, you have Beaver Builder as well, right? And a few mm-hmm. other ones that are in the market that allow you to drag and drop elements that simply build your website for you without touching yeah. a single line of code. What what was it about Elementor and why why have you zoned in on Elementor more than anything else? Yeah, well, there, as I say, I mean, there, there, there has been in the last maybe five years or so, uh, but, but the, these tools are, are, are in WordPress. So they're kind of, the the plugins for WordPress. And until until recently, WordPress was either the, the domain of coders, you know, you had to be a developer to be able to actually build a site with the thing, or you were stuck to these kind of off the shelf templates, you know, templated themes really that kind of never quite what people needed. You know, the, the, the number of people who would try and, and they were always just completely constrained and wanted some sort of freedom, but for it to be easy as well. So it was probably in the, in the last maybe three or four years, I think, this concept of page builders for WordPress has come about. And you get, you, you had sort of themes and plugins like Avader, Divi that came along, which were good, but still quite constricted, you know, still still not the dream of I can do anything, you know, and I, I, can, I can put things wherever I want and I don't need to code because I've used Divi, you do need to code. <laughs> I, can, I can vouch for that. So, when I when I personally got to the point of thinking, right, I actually want to teach, you know, non coders to do to do this thing, and I want to make sure that I'm using and recommending the absolutely the right tools. I put three months aside, then literally three months aside to test absolutely everything. Nothing was off limits. I mean, literally, even. You know, even systems like Wix and Squarespace and all sorts. I thought if there's a chance that it might suit my intended audience, right. then I'm looking at it, I'm trialing it, you know, I'm testing it. Mm. And I remember, you know, with everything, it was like, mm, yeah, that's, mm, yeah, that's great. Mm, yeah, you know, a few tick boxes for a few things. And then I found Elementor. Now, Elementor had only really just been released. I think it was September 16 or round about that time. And it was mentioned at the tail end of a little article about this current crop of page builders. And I clicked it because I was being very thorough. And even in that early stage, I mean, all my criteria, all my check boxes, you know, mm. my carefully constructed list of things that I needed to, you know, for these tools to be able to do. Right. Just like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, this, what 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 appealed to me so much was I mean as you say it's not it's not I'm not really interested especially in designers as such but just people who want that kind of creative control don't want to be constrained mm-hmm. and Elementor is is really like Photoshop in the sense that you know you've got nice kind of controls down the side you can drag and drop things into place yeah. if you want to change settings you just click on the thing and it's just all there in front of you. I haven't met anybody who doesn't, you know, who who doesn't just take to it intuitively 
to be able to make something I mean clearly you do need you know you do need some education um, otherwise I might I'd be out of a job but you know <laughs> but, but in terms of just picking it up and, yeah. and installing it and making something quickly yeah. I just thought this is excellent and I ran it by I ran it by a few guys I know as well actually a couple of photographers as well um, and they all just said yes this is superb you've got to you you've got to kind of learn this thing inside out and so i started using it i actually started using it on a few of my own projects because i was i was doing a lot of client work still i used it on other people's projects i you know hide hide people hide me out to try it and yeah i, I just blew me away so um and since then it's it's developed enormously I mean, you've, if, if you've been, you know, yes. keeping track of development of Elementor, it's practically every week there's another, not in a bloated way, but in a, an amazing way, <laughs> something else, you know, just, you just think, wow, you know, so I, I feel quite privileged to be part of that ecosystem and part of that community, really. Excellent, excellent. Now, I know you've, you've referenced um, the folks at Elementor and you've talked about, you know, the, the, the recent... Uh, upgrades to their platform. Um, how connected are you to that group of developers? Are, are you are you somebody that consults with them, or do they reach out to you and says, "Hey, you know, talk to us about the kinds of things that are still lacking, and we're going to start building them out." I mean, what kind of a relationship do you have with them? Not, not really. In a sense, the guy, the 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 team are a fairly closed shop. Actually, okay. it was only only fairly recently that they started even releasing kind of beta versions, prior to kind of major updates. You know, until then they just released them and and that was it. But no, I don't think they really consult with anybody. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I definitely, um, I, I, I'm definitely kind of in touch with the guys and. I mean, Ben from Elementor, especially, you know, is a is a really friendly guy, and we have like messages about things. But I maybe it's because I don't ask. I'm too polite. I'm I'm British, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's why they don't tell me. But yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. But they they do they do know that I am, yeah. you know, one of the premium guys to yeah. to, to teach people. So yeah, well, one of the reasons I ask you that is because uh, if you're main course which is called no stress wordpress i love the name uh you know it's it's a course that i would recommend uh really anybody who's looking to get really deep into understanding how to use elementor uh sort of to to, to enroll to, to <laughs> because the kind of information there that's in this course will help you create and sort of match the vision you have for your website. I think that's sort of like the point, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. You're helping photographers or uh, graphic designers, in your case, uh, really come up with designs that they have imagined uh, and making them, uh, you know, easy to create and responsive and, you know, all this good stuff that, that that's almost required in this day and age of, of websites you know you have to have mm. a website that's mobile friendly how do you do that you can't you can't you can't second guess that anymore yeah right i mean oh, have, absolutely you yeah. have you it's sort of like a requirement like mm. basic requirement is does it work on a mobile mobile device you know yeah and if you're struggling with that and you're set on doing it yourself let dave show you i mean that's sort of my pitch to you guys is that you you know, you take. Uh, here's the thing. I would recommend, honestly, take the mini course that's free. That's on Dave's website. I'll have a link to it. But once you do that, you'll go. Oh, I need to know more. And that's when this course called No Stress WordPress is going to be perfect for you. And as luck would have it, it just opened up today, right? Oh, I did literally. Yeah, literally about an hour, hour and a half ago. Hour something and a half like ago. That. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you've 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 upgraded it. Talk to us a little bit about the, the modules in it. I know you have six modules, correct? Mm -hmm. um, and if you can sort of go over the six modules rather quickly and sort of yeah, give us yeah. a sense of what we can expect, that would be fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's I mean, it's structured in a very kind of logical progression. So my, my you know, briefly, my idea is 
is that you know people might use tools like Elementor or think, well, hey, I can drag and drop, I can do anything I like, but forget that there's the rest of WordPress. You know, there's the actual WordPress ecosystem to actually to be able to deliver a fully functional website. You know, the entire website, st you still need to, to understand WordPress. And a, a lot of people struggle and they're lost and they spend hours and hours on YouTube trying to piece it together. So what I've done is, is actually in the program, I've put, I've actually got two courses. <laughs> I mean, wh wh why, do, why have one when you can have two, eh? Um, uh, two so the, two so for the, the price of one, Dave. It is. It is. So the, yeah, so the first course is actually called uh, the Perfect WordPress Starter Site. And just briefly, we I take people from complete scratch all the way through the perfect setup of WordPress so that you've got this kind of installation of WordPress that is your starting point for every single project you start from then on. Perfectly set up, you get started in literally minutes. And it's kind of like the pre, it's the prerequisite for being able to take advantage of the No Stress WordPress course itself. So that's four modules. It's about two or three hours or so, but you work through that and you, you're, you're, you're set. Yeah. So let, then in the No let, Stress WordPress... Let me let me stop you for a second. I, the first time I heard about that starter idea, starter website idea, I was blown mm. away. I was like, why haven't I thought about this? Of course, it makes mm. a whole lot of sense. You created, you've created yourself a template in a way. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, and then yeah, you can just sort of yeah. <clears throat> start other websites if you're inclined to do that and mm. from that very base it becomes your foundation and that's brilliant yeah and it's not it's not just it's not just the speed that you can start a new project but you mean literally you save hours and hours every time sure but i talk with pe people through the exact settings that they should have you know set this like this because it will make your life a lot easier set this like this so that you'll have design consistency across the entire site you know little just little tips and tricks like that as well Fantastic. so uh, yeah and then the, the main no stress wordpress um call yeah it's six modules and we make uh a, an actual website you know for a for a client um they're, they're a, a, a cleaning company called no mess no stress <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah right. we, we we start off by we start off just very quickly. We start off by making like a very quick prototype version of the site. The idea is, is that the faster you can, if you, especially if you've got clients, it's not so important if you're just building a site for yourself, but you know, get the site very quickly built in its bare bones. We do that within the first, like I think one module, two modules, then we kind of flesh it out. We start adding all sorts of different kind of layouts and techniques. Then we go deep into Elementor, you know, really, all right, let's stop. Let's stop messing around with WordPress and let's really flesh out and, and start spreading our wings. So I show people how to use Elementor, how to use this tool, but how to use it properly and most effectively and efficiently in the context of the entire website build. You know, not just here's how you build this funky layout and here's how you build you know this amazing looking design. It's it's how it integrates with actually delivering a, a final work in sight. Then after that, we go into a lot of the stuff that people really struggle with, the things with fancy names like custom post types and taxonomies and, you know, all yes. that post post archives and stuff, which are really not as complicated or as hard as they sound. But uh, it's just demystifying those and showing people, look, it sounds it sounds weird, sounds complicated, but this is what it is. This is what you can do with it practical examples, some little tips and tricks to make life easy for yourself. So it's all based on real life, practical examples. And I'm, I focus very, very much on telling, it's like somebody somebody said the other day, it's all kind of, it's all like need to know stuff. Yep. It's the stuff that you, you know, you absolutely need to know so that you're not having to scrabble around on YouTube and random Googling and it's yeah. just there, it's just laid out for you in, in a logical progression. One question that I think might come up in people's minds is, and you've already sort of answered it by, by my, us talking about the fact that you've just updated your your course. Mm -hmm. uh, you are constantly updating the course. You are, you, you got your, you know, your pulse on this whole Elementor community, so you know what's happening. And mm -hmm. when major updates are made, you are also updating your course, I imagine, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, and I, I say to people, 
if as, as soon as you're a student you've got access to all those updates as well so yeah that's 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 really really key for me it's just because because things change fast I I think since I started making the course, I, I've lost count of the number of times that I've actually popped in and <laughs> tweaked that lesson, added a bit more to that lesson, yeah. taken a bit out of that lesson, right. you know, added a bit in to say, you don't need to do this bit now, or, you know, there's an, there's an easier way of doing this now, right. there's a new plugin, or, right. so yeah, I keep that up to date all the time. I think that's, I think that's really important. Yeah, and one of the things I love about the way you do things, Dave, is uh, that you're very involved on your Facebook page as well, in the sense that the, the, the page that's dedicated for this course, mm -hmm. you are in there all the time suggesting plugins, making suge uh, making corrections to, or not corrections, but more like like you just said, you know, if things have uh, taken, pla taken place of something that is already in existence in your course, you've said, hey, listen, uh, you don't need that to do that step. You can go back and do something else instead, yeah. uh, which is amazing. You know, I don't know of any other like instructor who does that on a regular basis uh, as mm -hmm. you do. So uh, thanks to you for that. Um, mm -hmm. Where do you think this is going to go? I mean, I mean, obviously, photographers, graphic designers, creative people who are always going to be in need of websites. They're always going to need to put themselves out there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's. Uh, opportunities for creating landing pages and things like that, which I think you you go over as well in your in your course. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what is it? What is it that you feel will will be a success for photographers? If that's who I'm talking with right now, what do you think a success would look for look, would look like for them if they were to enroll in your course? Well, I think partly. The success is save time. Yeah, it's that you know you've you if especially you know if you're a photographer and you've 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 got work on and you're yeah you know, you're trying to actually run a business. Yeah, but you don't want to outsource it to somebody else. You don't want to be in somebody else's hands, or even if you do outsource it to somebody else, you know you maybe bring somebody on board, but the fact that you can dip in there yep. and change things yourself. Yep. You're not you're not having to send off an email to a developer who in three weeks time may deign to get back to you and fix the thing that you want them to fix so definitely the save time definitely the the you know not having to kind of figure all this out yourself you literally watch the lessons do the tasks and yeah. you're, you're there in as fast a time as possible yeah. but i think also as well it's just that i, th I think i think the key thing is the ability to kind of have control as well you know so no matter how you want to how you want to display your your photography your your brand you know what if you decide that you need a different landing page you want to attract you know a wedding market or you want to do something different for a particular industry anything really the sky is really the limit and um we've got actually through off the top of my head I, I know of three photographers on the course now who um who have all said that you know they've they were they were struggling like mad with this whole website thing to promote their businesses and it's trying I mean I I would say this but I'm I'm I'm, I'm I am being honest <laughs> they they they've told me you know it's, it's transformed their yeah. their websites and their business so they yeah. finally got that control back yeah yeah I think that's ultimately where things stand I mean I know it is one more thing to learn for photographers and <clears throat> we're always being um, sideswiped by you know courses and webinars and all this other stuff and yeah. this is in my opinion like the the foundation of your business I mean your webs if you don't have a website uh, I'm sorry folks you're not gonna be found <laughs> you know that's simple as that right and yeah. be able to be able to to present yourself in a way that you want to present yourself uh, I think that's fantastic I think that's that's amazing hey, really um, yeah. and this course, and I've, I've, I've told you this before, folks, go and take the free course first. You'll see, you'll see how Dave teaches. And this is exactly how he teaches in the, the main course too, but just sample his free course. Honestly, I was blown away. Yeah. I was really blown away by how easy Elementor is to understand. And it is drag and drop, but you know, uh, Dave talks about a simple thing like copying, uh, a block and reusing it that would have you know drive me crazy if I didn't know how to do that right <laughs> yeah, but it's so simple 
and, yeah, yeah. and be able to use it on multiple pages and multiple parts of the page and it's great this is really good stuff and yeah. uh yes he's got a course uh yes this is about the course in, in some respect but i want you to understand that um, i have your your back i want to make sure that you guys have great websites that are easy to navigate easy to be found and your clients are enjoying their experience. I mean, ultimately, that's what this is, this is for. Your clients mm -hmm. need to experience your work in a way that is fantastic, and so that they'll call you and hire you. Um, yeah. Where can one find out about this course, Dave? Well, I mean, it might be easiest if you want to pop a link. Sure, um, I can do underneath. that. Underneath, yep. yeah. If you want to pop a link under your okay. under, under this interview, I think that would probably be the best way of doing it. Fantastic. And people can just jump there. The only thing to say is is that I I actually only open the doors to the course twice a year for just a few days, um, mainly because I'm, my my support and involvement and attention is so hands on, as you, you've already mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. that. I just don't want people kind of arriving all the time, you know, throughout the year. So yeah. I have very kind of strict intake. So the, uh, it might be worth mentioning that the this intake, this enrollment closes on Friday this week. Oh wow! Yeah, it's um, I think it's I think it's eleven fifty nine p.m. EST. So basically midnight mm -hmm. on um, Friday, Saturday, yeah, uh, Eastern time. So right, the cost is two ninety seven. It's a one time payment. Mm -hmm. And as we've already discussed, I mean, it's tremendous value, tremendous. I mean, because you don't pay a single red cent afterwards, because even yeah. if David updates it, you get it for free. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, people people do say as well, because, like, you know, I've, I've been collecting testimonials from my yeah. students and listening to what they say. Yeah. And actually, I mean, the, 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 the course itself is tremendous value, but people say that the Facebook group the support community is worth at least the price of the course itself <laughs> yeah, there's some great people there great people yeah it's an amazing group so warm and friendly we yes. do we do call ourselves the no stress family you know it's it's <laughs> it's true really and I think that is you know e even that on its own I think right. is um, is definitely worth it so it's, it's worth getting in for that fantastic Dave, thank you so much for joining us today. I mean, oh, I'm, pleasure. I'm really, I'm really excited about telling people about this course, and I feel that uh, it's, awesome. it's resources like this that gets me excited about the industry because I feel like, yes, finally, we can have something that will help us yeah. <laughs> move to the next level. Um, yeah. You know, there's so many, as I've already said, so many things out there that are just, they're, they just, they provide a service and then they disappear, unfortunately, and uh, and that's yep. not that's not the case in this situation. And um, I've really really enjoyed uh, interacting with you on Facebook, on on text and things like that, and yeah. understanding how you work uh, is has been sort of uh, has been has been very inspirational. So thank you. Oh, that's amazing! Brilliant. Well, yeah. the same for me as well. Definitely. Yeah, Thanks, Dave. Good, uh, Will do. Brilliant. We'll have this uh, posted today so that people can take advantage of the uh, the timeline. I know there's some bonuses Excellent. involved as well. So if there is, yeah, yeah if people <laughs> want to sign up right away, that's fantastic. They get more, obviously, for the same price. And uh, uh, wish everybody great luck with this course. Really fantastic. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye.